so good day everyone um i just want to quickly take us to another so this uh, important functions uh, in excel called auto field how to sort filter auto field the roles in excel almost the same um if you have uh dealing with excel list of data and you want to sort uh, you can a kind of data on uh, each cell or a data on the range of a cell or any values in a given cell, you want to, you want to sort it from A to Z. Right -click. Uh, and what does that mean is that the, uh, you want the right alphabetic and you see a drop down, numbers to start uh, from A you and you also want the alphabetic number to start um, from Z. And uh, you can use so this process to do that function and you can also filter. Um, and where you if you are using, looking so for a specific use, uh, role because uh, you are names roles, on a given cell or the range of a cells, from the left, um, uh, hedge you can use the find, sheet, replace, go to special here, notes, and also create you uh, a note on your you cell. To so the today, I just want to go through this uh, how to use this function sort and filter. Um, in the sort of filter, we'll be covering, we're going to cover how to so do A to Z, how to, to sort from Z to, to A, to and to also 30. how to do custom sort uh, and how to do filter. Field. I'm so going to show you just using this data that I have here. You can also and do the same so it may be a little bit easy for us to do. So I just use this. Uh, data and uh, um, if you want to determine I'm going to go through like how to find and uh, select uh, under that, that we're going to, to cover and find the place go to a special select it from here uh, now, note and note constant and I will tell you what constant means right -click, in Excel see here uh, and this is what we're going to cover today and let's quickly dive into the first uh, training which is how to sort from A to Z um, imagine if you have uh, uh, this range on the table, of data and you have to, on let's that this you want particular to cell, to cell the and uh, cell. you decided that yeah. look, on this well, data, you, you, you want a situation here. whereby and if you want to, you want to see uh, the first Let's assume uh, that you want to select it the first data uh, uh, columns, to be, to be from B. A to Z. That so means you, you want uh, the alphabetic right number to start from right A. Click, you see the drop down um, you can see I mean, the if we have A here, that means A will be the first set of the data and the first row or will be on the first row where B, C, D will follow. And this is how you can use A to Z to do. And I mean, if you the are familiar with how to do that. Uh, you do the uh, sometimes you want to change it back to uh, use an alphabetic place in order to sort out the data and you can so that all you can them. able to see and where to each one of these data the or the values so of the data uh, lying from this each one itself. So you can see. And this, let's just quickly dive into the first one. Let's assume and that uh, do it from this um, I, I want to sort. I want the range of data. Let's assume that we just want to. You can see your two fields. Everything. sort from and A to Z, to back, um, you start back. from okay. uh, columns, so this uh, to which is uh, uh, B17, and you just now, want to only use the text, you uh, want to ignore, is out of high um, you might also, uh, also uh, include the, that you want to the amount, uh, but you can uh, decide that you want to only want to sort the A to Z from uh, from the product name as well as the descriptions, so that means that if we have any left alphabetic numbers uh, they're going to be arranged in form of a to z panels, which is so what you do there are two so ways you can do that um, let's say in the first one you can do what you can do go, go just go to your insights click uh, uh, you can see uh, here you have your inside rows. tabs what do you want to under do your inside the tabs um you click that, uh, sorry go to your own tab under your home tabs you will see box and you go to a panel called editing panel under so your editing panels, you so see you what back, call sort you release it and again. filter. If, if you, you click want that, to hide um, you can see here from uh, A to, to Z. Hide these columns, um, that if you select that, products, you can see it will select to from the, the lowest panels, which to the highest. That means it's going to select uh, you can the either, uh, uh, values you can from right A to Z. So if you click that, so you can see what you see here. So it's going to pick up, you can see. So that means we're able to find from the, uh, the bay, which is uh, uh, the first the right uh, lowest the cell panels, values, go to the format, uh, so you can any B and C, you can see, fine. So let's go uh, after fine, we have G, so which is uh, class three. 
and we have large, yeah, we have small, yeah, and we have uh, this wallet. Is a particular sheet so this is how to sort things out. But the only issues you have here because you didn't include here, damn, the here amount. So let's go back the again. Let's include the old cell. Uh, let's cell assume that we want to sort so if you want to from the lowest that, to the highest. Right, that size. And if you, you include the old cells, that means see, the it's going to allow this and, uh, amount if you want to, uh, to it, follow you go back to the uh, uh, the sorting box. from A to and Z. You can see on so it's not going to because if you sort it out only from on this height. two cells, Since that means the amount the that you incurred uh, as a repair is under the will be not. So in order size. to include that, you have to highlight the old tables. Uh, hide the sheet and, and uh, so you go uh, back to your editing panels under your sort. You and can I see from A to Z. If you click that, you can also so the amount will be here. sort according uh, to, to the, and you can uh, see here, you see, it sorts the amount uh, also include click, what was there before. So, the and everything will be sorted, but it's going to start sorting from the product the name, which is the bay. So, so we ignore this or any other things that follows after descriptions we we match up with bay. So this is how to use A to Z sorting. So let's go back again. And also, you can also sort, let's assume that you also want to sort, instead of using the editing panels. And you all you can do, you can right click from your mouse columns, and you columns see a back. box, a, a drop down do box. Under the, we have a tab called right filter. Right. You can click see click here, box, uh, right. sorry, sort. You, you can see again. under here we have sort. Click so we sort box. from A to Z. Right click, and if you click that, you will do the same high. function as well. I can the, see it has managed to sort out the data so this how from to it do from the lowest to the all this so you can use then that last one and also if you want to sort from Z uh, to is the uh, okay, we'll there with this let's say we want to sheet. sort from Z if you want to, rename to a, a, a sheet that um, you can use the same you thing can you can right click all the data the that you want to sort uh, so that means you expect W which is the highest values to come and the top so, so if you right click to, from uh, your mouse so this is the name of and you see the drop down you uh, it again, box under that we have uh sort from so z you to can also do that for a so if you click you that click, you see uh, so you yeah, sort you the see, amount that direction. which shows that uh, warlocks tends to be so the first ones and uh so this still to put the bait because it recognize uh, that this bay might be the title so if you go back or copy a sheet. Let's assume that I want to uh, because we exclude the bay. So let's sort it uh, out again. To copy that, you can right, right click. click. Where do you um, see? So Z. Or copy so sheet. because you recognize you that this bay is a title. So that's sheet. the reason why. So this how to sort out and from. You can say, and you um, have to click this a copy. To, when you right click, uh, click from Z to, to, to a sheet to uh, from the lowest to the highest. So you can also do the same functions sheet, here, um, whereby you call it um, you use the editing panel size to align the data so that you want to you can sort. Also do the same thing go to the editing panel and under the tab called sort the, filter. Um, you can see you can also find it here. Under the format, sort you can see Z the to A from box. the highest to the lowest. Um, so it will do the same functions. Name and this how to do. And you can also sort of select it from the, the title. Let's assume that we we'll select right from the data, data from the title names. Remove a sheet. And if you, you want to sort out copy it from Z, you see. So now it's putting it, it back because what it did is that uh, so it recognized that it's first functions. Uh, and how data you on the cells is the title, so you ignore that. So it's going to start from the second data. So this how to sort from A to Z. So what you uh, from you Z right to click, A. You then if you want to go box, to the customs, uh, uh, the word customs is another very, very important thing that you want to, instead of, let's you, want you want to color select a specific right. cell, you, see? Uh, you so want to pick up the values let's uh, that from you a cell. Color a uh, uh, let's you assume that you align the product names, you align the data. You can see here. Then you want to use a custom sort. We can also use a custom sort, go to the editing panel. This is uh, sort the, and filter, color, you can see, customs. In Excel. What customs sort one, does is that it will choose more options just as sorting by multiple columns uh, or rows or case sensitive sort. If you click that, I don't want you see it's giving you a kind of a box. So what there you have to be specific you can this do, time around because go to, custom sort allow you to be specific uh, panels, the way you want to sort. The panels, and the first columns, which is looking at, this is it's if looking at the first column and it knows that from and the first column uh, you have, have these functions 
They have to put uh, a password. You have the product yes, names. You, know, you, uh, you have the descriptions, the amount, the amount. Key. So what you want you to do is that uh, so anybody that uh, is which one of these so columns you do you want to sort? Uh, do you want to sort your worksheet uh, contents alphabetically blocks. from each one of these columns? Anybody uh, if I did, I imagine if I want to pick descriptions, I want the descriptions to sort. That means if I pick descriptions, it will ignore the product name. It will sort the uh, use a custom sort to sort from either A to Z or from Z to a, yeah, as 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 based on how we want it. And if you say so okay. then what we're looking for is the values, okay. cell and values. It, yes. And it's telling we're only looking for the cell values. That's the values on each cell. And we want to sort and from either either sort from A to so Z or from Z to A. Let's assume that we, we want to sort from Z A to Z. So what it's going to do uh, do anything it will start sorting not from the product name. It will start sorting from the descriptions. So if you click that you see so this how to do all this so it's sorting out from so you guys from the descriptions you see and you can see here it's putting food which is the first uh alphabetic uh, uh then followed by a, a repair so if you go back again let's go back to the customs again how to use the customs if you click the customs again let's assume that i want to start sorting out from uh let's click uh we have to highlight the goal Okay, I like that. So then go to back again, go to the custom sort. Uh, from the custom sort, let's assume that I want to start sorting from only the descriptions. Uh, sort from the descriptions. And uh, so let's, let's sort from the product name and from Z to A. So it's going to start sorting from product name instead of the descriptions. And from Z to A, you see, it gives us the same thing. So this is how you can use a customs uh, sort to sort out uh, a specific columns that you definitely want to sort. Uh, the sorting from A to Z or Z to A to start from. Um, you can also use the amount as well. Let's assume that you want to use the amount. Uh, let's go back again. Uh, let's call this one amount one and call this one uh, amount that you spend two on your repair and you call this amount three. And let's quickly uh, use a kind of colors to differentiate this uh, the data. So now, assuming that I want to sort from uh, amount A. So if you want to use a custom sort, go back again to your custom sort. Um, custom sort, uh, see, let's assume that I want to start from amount A the cell values which is inside amount A and we want to sort this time around it recognizes that amount A has in numbers not to test so you want you to sort from either from the smallest to the highest or from the largest to the smallest so let's assume that I want to sort from the smallest to the highest so the highest smaller number will come first while the highest numbers are big so see so it's telling you that uh, champion uh, under the service charge and uh, with 289 is the lowest so this is how you can use a custom sort uh, to sort out uh, a cell values so this is how to use a custom sort so that's where we there was a custom sort so now let's go to another important function called filter uh, filter uh, is also a very important way of how you can filter the data uh, for you to filter a data, that means you want to check. Um, you want to be specific. You want to only want to pick up a specific data. Uh, there are two ways you can do that. You can right click. Uh, you can see here under your filter. Uh, you right click your mouse and you go to a kind of a panel. With this kind of a box called filter, and you can see a filter called. You can see you can sort by selected cell values or you can also sort by selected columns you can also set set by selected cell front columns and you can also sort, sort by selected cell icon let's assume that you want to sort by selected cell values so you can see here what it does so sort it out so we have filter all the data has not been inclusive here and if you set there i just want to release the bay so you release the bay for you if you imagine if you just want to release uh, just one of the specific preset it will release the preset for you 
if you imagine if you want to release the cook expenses what to spend on the cook so it is hard to use a uh, a filter and you can also do everything release all the data using this so this is how to use the filters functions in excel and you can also do that by just going through um, um, you go through your editing panel um, you can see a tag there called filter if you click that uh, you can select from filter it doesn't have actually has to select the whole data so you can just select from the titles uh, of the columns so you can sort of filter click the word filter um, because it's already been filtered you can say filter you see it has already filtered the data and you can also you can also filter specific columns and uh, cell values instead of filtering in the old title's name let's assume that you only want to filter the product's name you can right click and go to your filter tabs under the box and you can see so you select everything let's assume that i just want to be specific let's assume that i want to be specific in this product um, uh, let's say uh, there's no color see it's only select these values so but you're still going to have uh, information on each one because what filter does is i look at the title but this is area that you filter and this one you can also select each one of them so this is how to use the filter functions in excel and let's go to next one uh, which is the uh, how to find uh, how to find and select uh, how to find and select is also a very important function in excel if you imagine if you have a lot of data that you are currently working in excel and you want to find that data and the only way you can do it is to use a find let's assume that uh, i have a lot of data and i want to look at um, can you look at uh, product name cook and find out the descriptions on that food and tell me how much we actually spent on amount A or amount B or amount C. So what you can do, there are two things you can do. You can right click uh, from your uh, from your mouse, you press the control shift and you click and you press F. This is how to use the find functions. Again, go to your mouse Control Shift plus and press F. F uh, a button, and this will give you a find box or find and place. Um, you can see here you can do two options find and replace. So this option is telling you what are you looking for. Let's assume that I'm looking for, uh, I'm looking for what find. Tell me where there's a find. And if you said find all see so what is telling you is that on this on this sheet on this cell we have find is in f7 f if you click that so this is where we can get find so it's telling you we have about one two three four five one two three four so we can find exists in one Two, one, two. So this we have find. See here, one exists here as well, and also exists here. You can see, uh, it's looking, it's looking at the whole worksheet, and it's looking at where can you find the word find. So it's telling you find exists here. If you click that find exists there. Find exists in this. Uh, cell values find also exists here so in the four places we have four find um, imagine if i also want to look for uh, the word cook and tell me where cooks exist in these values see it's uh, telling me exists in three three uh cell which is one second once you click it will tell you where cook exists it's telling you cooks exist in b3 which is that one b33 exists in b32 and also exists in b25 so this is how to find a cook and um, this is how to use a, a find function in excel and another way you can also do you can also go to the control uh, editing panels under the uh, home 
uh, tab you can see here um, say um, uh, click that one fine if you click that one it's gonna do the same thing um, and I didn't if I want to change this one to to that and you click fine or so it's telling you DVET exists in two cells which is B21 if you click that you see here uh, B21 and also exists in B29 which is that so this is how to use a uh, find function in Excel to find a particular values or a numbers text or any information in a given cell so if another one you want to do is replace, uh, you can see here we have replace block. Let's assume that uh, we want to decide that we want to change the names of the vex to to uh, to uh, bumpy uh, bummy. So you just want to change that names. So what it's going to do is, guys, it's going to go into the word event and, and it will replace with the bunny. Let's assume that we replace all. See, see, it's telling you that all done we made two replacements. So it's replace uh, what we have before, which is divex to bummy. So this is how to use uh, functions. Uh, so you can also use the, the do that functions from find and replace. They all works in the same box. So this is how to replace a word um, that or for many in, in itself to another different word. So and um, so this is how to use these two functions i hope you guys enjoy that then let's go to what they call go to special um, uh, go to special is also very important functions in excel uh, one of the things you can do under the go to functions uh, go to special is um, you you can go to your let's assume that you selected this uh, data and you want to go to special if you click for your uh, under the editing panels, um, you can see you can find your editing plan from your own tab and uh, on the top navigations. And if you go to your find and select, go to special. Uh, what go to special does is um, you, you can see you have different functions here you have constants, you have formulas, you have blank, you have current regions, you have current arrays, you have objects, you have rows differences you have rows column differences we have precedent we have dependence we have last cells we have visible cell and we have condition so it depends on what functions you want this go to species to do um, that is what it's going to do um, imagine if if you want to select instead of the notes i'm going to come back to the notes um, if you can put a note to this uh, uh, to this cell or any specific data or a single cell uh, just for you to remind yourself what you need to do and what you can do you can go to uh, uh, let's assume that you pick up the row differences uh, it's telling you from this data can you tell me which rows are completely different you click that you see so you can see here it's telling you the rows that differences is this one so it will start selecting from here from the first rows and it will tell you this is what is the difference row. If we un undo that again and go back, select the same row as well and go back to your special, uh, go back to your uh, finance select under your go to special and if you also click the columns, columns differences, if you click that, you see, it's only selecting, this is only columns that is completely different. So if you go back again and select the same um, uh, cell and um, go to your go to special and you, and you say look tell me the last cell if you click that so what's it giving you nothing here it's telling you we go back to where the last cell was selected so which is telling you this is the last set that was selected that's the reason why you, you can able enough to uh, see the island and this is how to use a go function it has different functions meaning things that you can definitely play with and um, so then let's go back to how to put a note to a cell um if you want to put a note let's assume that i want to put a note to this amount um, 
you can put the owner to the whole cell and you can put the note to a specific cell. Yes, I mean I want to put the note. You can right click from your drop down box. From then you will see what we call new note. You can see here there is the tab called new note. If you click that, you see, and it will tell you your names. You see, that's the most important thing about this. Uh, my name is Collection Tom. And um, you can remove that names. You can just say a picture. Uh, this, this, this amount is for yeah, is for base. Uh, you can say this amount is for base. Uh, repairs. Uh, okay. Yes, you can say this. You can say this amount is for base repair. Uh, you can say carry out. Spend and the and this sentiment just puts an hypothetical date. You see here, so anytime somebody click that, you can see uh, specifically, yeah, uh, it's re references that note that was a note here. So sometimes you can use that note as a way of telling that you, this is what happened with this amount, and this is what happened with that amount. Uh, 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 we can say this will happen with that man. This will happen. So you can use a note. Uh, you can also put a note to the whole cell. Uh, uh, you can put a note to the whole cell. Uh, what you need to do, you can just go to this uh, select, find and select, and you can see notes. So, but one thing about notes is because anytime you put a note to a single cell, um, the note will be definitely added. It. And unless you want to remove that note. To remove a note, what you need to do, click that cell that the note is and you say delete the note and delete the note will disappear. So let's assume that I want to put a note here. Let's see whether it can allow you. can right click as well. A new note. You see what it does is it will look at the first cell. That's what it does because it only looks at itself. A note only works specifically to itself. And um, because I selected B as the first note, as first cell, uh, so you are assuming that the note that you want to put is from is, is from what is from B17, and you can also delete that note as well. So you just right click from your uh, mouse, and you look at the drop down button called delete the note. So this is how to delete the note. So this is how to use the note functions in Excel. And the last one, which is constant. Uh, constant is also very important function in Excel. Uh, constant is just a value that you just want to have in the cell that you want that cell to say, look, this is a constant value. And that means that that value will not change. It will not change. So as long as you use a constant value, the values will not change. So how to use a bad constant value? There are two things you can do. Let's assume in that uh, on this cell, uh, you want to make a kind of constant today. Uh, there are two options you can do. Uh, what you can do, you go to the uh, uh, different uh, cell, the not the data as I have, and you press equal. So you now bring the word constant. Uh, you press equal. So then what you want to do, uh, you want to have. They'll match the price. Uh, Tony, I'm telling uh, you want to have a day. Keep it between us, yeah. That's the first the one. When time you are using a constant, no you must start with what we call. Um, we must start with what we call. Uh, two, we must start with what we call. Um, um, so you start with um, Coily's. Uh, uh, Bracket. Uh, so you start with that, and you can see uh, you put uh, I, the this one uh, put to iPhone, comma, and uh, pick up these values as well, and do the same thing. Uh, these values go the same. I go to two semicolons, and you close the curly bracket. You see. So what it's doing here, you can see here, it's looking at B7, 
and it's putting a, a data here so but you can change that to let's assume that you want to change that to uh big um big and the c17 you want to change it to repair and you press enter you see it's telling you that this is a constant amount and this amount will not change so this is the first this is the first set of how you can use uh, a constant so imagine if remember um, this is the first amount you can use when you want to use the constant as long as the the open is from the curly bracket and you close it with the curly bracket another one is that we can do is that uh, if you want to put it in also different forms uh, instead of using uh, comma you can use uh, semi columns and you press enter you can see how the selection is uh, let's change this one to repair proper repair see then it has bring you the different layout and you also you can also include um, let's assume that uh, you want to include an amount call it please uh, amount um, 320 and uh, another amount 300 uh, another amount uh, 370 you see you can see how it, it does the layout it's telling you and you can if you don't want to use the uh, semi columns you can use uh, comma and remove the semicolons, comma, and remove the semicolons, and put comma, comma here, and you put and you enter. So you can see how it's going to lay out the functions for you. So it's showing that you cannot change this. This is constant values. Um, this is a constant values. So you you can decide that you want to have a constant values that we will not change um, this is how to use this is how to determine you can do it in horizontal as well as if you do it in horizontal that means you have to have a comma if you want to make the constant values to appear as verticals that means you have to change the uh, the comma to semi comma semi semi columns and but one thing about constants is that you must use an Curly brackets to open and you are asked to close it with curly bracket. So this how to uh, work with a constant uh, values. So in a given cell, and you can also find constant values from here as well. Find and select. If you go here to the constant, it's telling you what cell do you want to constant. And you, once you selected that cell, then you can just start playing with the formations and. Uh, and uh, then you put your uh, your core and you will just depends on the layout you want to give you the so you can see anybody cannot change this even if you change it it will, it will go back it become constant it won't gonna change so so this is how to use a constant functions in excel so i hope you guys enjoy this training and i will see you in the next uh training and uh, stay blessed bye for now